Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. Sorry about my voice, I have a cold. But let's just start. To make the human body, it can be hard sometimes, especially when you just have started your air journey. It's not always the results are going to look like as we wanted to, but that's why we are practicing. The real thing you can do is not just draw, but draw smart. It's just not drawing the human body as you are seeing it, but to make it down to more simple and easier ways to work with. And this is where squares and cylinders are going into. Squares and cylinders, not even is it making it more easy to work with. As a digital artist, squares and cylinders, not even are they more easy to work with as a digital artist. But also, if you are drawing traditional, personally, I will say as a digital artist, I really also need to do more traditional art as it's making me more comfortable in my lines, as I already done it on paper. And there is no control C button, only a rubber if I'm making a mistake. But let's go back to the squares and cylinders. I use squares and cylinders to form the human body with modeling the body as I want the character to stand. In this case, I'm using references to make this video. I also highly, highly recommend that you are using reference, but you're probably asking, will reference even make it more easy for me to draw? The answer is yes. Reference helps you understand more the human autonomy and understand how it's working with the body and even how muscles are going to work. But that's a whole other video than this one. I will make one in the future, else there is plenty of other videos on YouTube you can go look for if you found this one. But to even understand the human body, we also need to understand how the muscles are working. But again, it's coming in the future for me. As you can see, I use squares and cylinders to form the human body, to modeling the human body as I want, to have the character sustain, lay, sit, and whatever I'm thinking of drawing. Of course, using your matching is also a good thing, but always use references if you're struggling and start out with references. It's making your journey go faster as you more faster understand how the human autonomy is working and looking for that matter. It's very important to also understand the muscles. To even understand the human body, understand how the muscles are working, but that's for another video. In this video, we're just talking about how to practice the squares and cylinders to just make the human body form. Also, to draw just the human body is also important to remember that we all are looking different in our body size. The same does our characters. There's not two bodies that is the same as we are example taking men and women bodies. They are a big difference between the muscles groups and the, even the forms of a man and a woman. As you can see, man is triangle, women have shapes because she has to carry a baby. Men don't. So that's why men are more have more muscles and don't need to have a more right in the hips as women does. But that's also the difference between men and women. I will also recommend that you are starting simply practicing squares and cylinders in the 3D way. Of course, if you don't know what I mean by that, it's, it's more, if I can explain it right, a 3D way is more looking at a character and see it being more looking alive and just, just not a flat piece of paper. You get my drill? Right? Anyway, what I'm trying to say with this video is that always practicing, use references to draw what you are wanting to draw, learn from what you are drawing, see the forms in the, the model you are wanting to draw. It can be hand, feet, whatever, animals, plants, things, everything has form. You just need to open your eyes, see the forms in the things and just not see the things. So a little lesson as well as I would like you to learn, is when you are looking around, see how everything's having a form. And if you are putting all those forms down on paper as you're seeing them, you're also having it more easy to understand how actually to draw the things because all the smaller details is coming afterwards, always afterwards. The simple thing is to just draw the base of the character, the thing, the human, the house, the mountain, whatever you are wishing to draw, see the forms. What all this says, I'm really wishing you good luck with your ad journey and I hope I will see you again. Thank you for your time and stay tuned for more videos like this. And I know I'm uploading Sims videos too, but that's more for my own little personality storytelling, but that's another case. Anyways, 
Thank you for your time. I hope I will see you again to the next video. Bye, guys.